Hello, let's um, start this name and choosing or setting some intentions for today or simply the next segment. How would I like to feel today or right now? Take a moment to think. The feelings can take many forms. It can be calm, relaxed, peace, tranquil, or even joyful, happy. So what feelings would I like to feel today? Today I'd like to feel We can even wish for optimism and positivity. In what way would I like to show up today? The worst self, my mediocre self, my medium self or my best self? Or show up in the best that I possibly can? In what way? Breathe in. Out. In what way would I like to show up today? Being the best that we can is good enough. Let's not compare ourselves with others. And if we compare ourselves to a time where we've been worse than we are at our best, if we compare ourselves to a time where we've been better, then we feel worse. So we, there's a range of behaviours and feelings and it changes according to our energy levels, our mood, our life experience, our challenges, our opportunities for relaxation and fun. So we're never in one state. can do the best we can with the resources and the things we have in each given moment. Yes, we might want to aim for the stars and be on top of the world at all times, but that might not be happening or be realistic or happen. But we can choose behaviours and take actions that are within our control, that is within our energy, that can make us feel a little bit better, that can help us improve the moment and then, then the next moment. And instead of looking for a leap, a jump, we can go for a baby step in a way in line with our energy levels. Can take a step from despair to feeling less despair and another step to feeling more hopeful and another step to feeling more content. Time is a piece of work and it takes time but it does pay off. Take a moment for Notice your breathing, but ah, uh, where is your breathing right now? <laughs> the room. Is it with you? Is it relaxed? Just notice. Allow it to rise and fall naturally. Notice where you feel the breathing. Is it in your nose? Can you hear it? Can you feel it in your chest and belly? Do you 
you notice the rise and fall as you breathe in get to in and out what else would I like for my today for my for today what skills would I like to live today by I want to be a little more patient, a little more flexible, or perhaps a little bit more assertive. I want to be a bit more gentle, optimistic, positive, or perhaps I want to take action engage in behaviours that are supportive of me? Am I going to pick one meal that is healthier and then bit by bit increase the meals and the foods that I take during the day? I have that choice and I can start small and then when I've got that momentum going I can increase Do I want to drink sufficiently so I can stay hydrated throughout the day and feel my best? Do I want to engage in gentle activity that allows my body to feel better and take fresh breaths and enjoy the outside for a little bit? I want to engage in activity that needs doing and will give me satisfaction because I've completed because I've done it do I want to smile and laugh <laughs> And can I give that to myself if I can't engage with someone else? <laughs> Do I want to live by the feeling of love? And if I can't see someone else today or in this moment, can I give that to myself by looking in the mirror and say, I love myself. So you can feel that feeling of love and if that's too far stretch in this moment can I pick something in my environment that we can love and appreciate either love or appreciate what is that you love that doesn't have any resistance Some people will be pets. Some people will be objects. Some people will be nature. So, what do I love? Anything that makes us feel relaxed, good satisfied can be placed in the category of love and appreciation take a moment and think of something just take a moment to think of something that we love all the activities that we love the one today can we engage in at least one of those activities 
that we appreciate, that we love. Sometimes that could be with someone else, but if that's not possible, what about lying, perhaps reading a book, or listening to a soothing, comforting piece of music? Just laying down there and looking at the sky, watching the clouds go by, or even the moon and the stars, or watching the world from a distance, or cooking a healthy, nourishing meal. Or spending five minutes sorting or cleaning or doing something up so that we can feel satisfied or engaging the very basic behaviour of looking after ourselves, cleaning our teeth, washing our face, looking after hygiene, dressing up or even having a shower so that we can feel better. In what way can I make myself feel better? I know what this can help, but if that's not available, and for moist, how can I, what can I do to make myself feel better in this way? always makes me feel better dancing. <laughs> what about singing a song? <laughs> In what way do I want to show up today? What person do I want to be? What values do I want to live my life by? Get about the <laughs> Sick one day at a time. Tomorrow we can start and do the same thing again. But today, or at least in this moment. Or if a whole day is too much to manage up front, how about just the next segment? How would I like to show up for the next segment? For the next hour? The next Twenty minutes. Because that's manageable. And then <laughs> can go back to the old ways of being. <laughs> but we can then repeat again tomorrow. And then bit by bit. For example, if we set the intention to be positive, optimistic all day, we might struggle. Or be patient all day, we might struggle. If you go with, okay, today I'll do my best for 20 minutes. During 20 minutes, you really do your best. And then tomorrow, you do another 20 minutes. And every day, took 20 minutes. Eventually, that becomes so easy, so straightforward. It's like a muscle that's been built. It's like the way they train for marathons. First, you get off the couch, then you get off the couch, and now to your door, and then. From the couch to your door outside and then each day or each week or every couple of days I've heard something similar to this you increase your distance a little bit you start from a very comfortable easy management then bit by bit and I do the same for exercise just do what is manageable in the day just do the minimum that is manageable and comfortable and some days you get a bit more energy, a bit more. But in that minimum, the body gets used to that minimum, so it's easy and manageable. But at least you've got something. My minimum walk is at 20 minutes that I can do comfortably. The rest will be a bit more or less, depends if I have the time and the energy. But then you can have a minimum 
five minutes or minimum of half an hour. And my minimum for cleaning is five minutes. And then often I find that after five minutes I might even engage in a bit longer because once you start it's easy to continue. So let's go with the person that we want to be today and the values we want to live by. I start with a minimum that is manageable. If you say for the rest of your life you're going to be patient, sometimes you need to be a little bit impatient. Okay, so you, for the rest of your life you're going to be positive and optimistic. Well, sometimes being a little bit negative can protect us from taking steps that might put us in a compromised position so you need the protection as well as stepping out of the comfort zone you want to be positive without going to the other extreme of toxic positivity where you totally discount the challenges and the negatives oh i'll just take on board you yeah. yes i'm fine i'm positive and you're just receiving abuse and you're not respecting yourself so We are feeling negative and pessimistic. We can draw in what way is this serving me? What's the purpose and function of this behavior? And we might find it might be to protect ourselves physically, mentally, emotionally. It might be to reduce our expectations so we don't feel further disappointment and hurt and, and rejected. So we don't put ourselves up there. So we don't feel further hurt because in this moment we don't know how to manage that. But we can learn to manage those fears and recognize which ones are rational and which ones are irrational. Which ones are reasonable, which ones are unreasonable. So that we can start increasing our comfort zone to a bigger, wider space so you can live more of life so that we can feel better but it's a time to be firm and a time to be soft a time to be playful and a time to be serious you don't have to practice being negative because it will just come when we feel doubt, uncertain, weak, hurt. But we can learn skills. We can learn to look at things from a different perspective, in a different way. We can have the courage to ask for help. We can learn to do something differently and we can be compassionate with ourselves and others and we can learn to accept when things don't go our way and we can learn to make peace with what is in the moment and accept ourselves and others and things unconditionally and see life as a big buffet, all encompassing, where there's good and bad, and take both together and recognize there are challenges and negatives and terrible things, but also our opportunities and good and neutral. So we don't feel so naive in either direction so we don't feel extremely negative or extremely positive we find the middle road so we acknowledge yes there are moments that I can be positive and optimistic and patient and there are moments where I will not be and what can I do to support me during those moments when I'm not feeling positive, patient, optimistic. What can I do to support me then? Do I need to change my way of thinking? Do 
do I need to change the way I do things and look at things? Do I need to learn a new skill? Do I need to practice a skill? <laughs> In what way do I want to show up today? Aim for the goal that is manageable in this moment. Baby steps will get there. And every day is a different day. Every day is a new opportunity to check in. What do I have today? If I slept more, I feel more rested. If I slept less, I feel more tired. So I have to adjust expectations according to my energy levels. If my body's healing and recovering physically or mentally, I have less energy. So what's the bet what can I do with what I have, the resources I have, the knowledge I have, the energy I have, the capacity that I have in this moment? What's the best that I can do? But can I also remind myself that while well, this and that is not as good or this and that is challenging, I also have some things in my bag that is, that is working out for me, that is good, that is positive, that I take for granted. Let me recognize that too. There are things that are going well in this moment. Let me remind me of it reflect on it. There are things that I can be grateful for. There are things that I still have, that I do have, that is working well right now. Notice, take a moment to notice the things that you have in this moment. be material things, could be people, could be time, could be abundance, could be food, a roof, internet connection, clothes, let's go for our day with a feeling of abundance gratitude for the things we already have and gratitude for, and gratitude for the more that is there to come. <laughs> How would you like to show up today? Sure. In part is our choice. In part is our choice. In part is automatic. Things just happen and we react to them. But in part we can choose to respond to. And in part we can choose to create and we choose to engage in the things and activities that, yes, may be needing, but also there's a level that we can engage that we want to, so that we can feel more rested, more at peace, more optimistic, more positive, happier, healthier. Make those choices. Let's make those choices because we can. Because we have choices. Because we have options. Because we can choose. And let's take the step that we are that is available to us in this moment. And then the next. And then the next. Love from my heart. Take a hug. How would you like to show up today? And when you can, show up with a smile on your face. And if you can, share your face, it's fine too. Show up any way you can. But just show up. Because <laughs> while we are alive, you might as well show up. <laughs> Don't beat yourself up. We always come showing up the best way we can. And let's not take it to heart when we can't show up the way that we want or our preferred ways. Especially if you are struggling with anxiety, anxiety thoughts and behaviours and, and also 
depressed feelings and even depression because it takes time to heal, it takes time to learn new ways and um, others may show up with their best possible selves smiling, laughing, engaging in something productive that we see as productive and successful but no one is on their blossoming at all times, even nature is not blossoming at all times, for starters. Secondly, some people have more momentum in a certain direction because they have had the experience, the practice. And third, we can't compare someone feeling their best with someone feeling their worst. It's not fair. We have access to different thoughts, we have different energy levels and we also have access to different actions. So let's not beat ourselves up and compare ourselves unfavorably and unfairly and even to what we were or felt in the past. It's just how can I improve this moment and then how can I improve this moment? Then the next moment, how can I improve this moment? And that's the best we can do in each given moment. And then as our energy rises, we start solving our little problems so that we can feel more in control, more empowered. Some of the problems we are creating and some of the problems just happens to us. So we do the best we can in each given moment. And let's be compassionate when we're not doing what we want or should be doing. Breathe in. Breathe out. How would you like to show up for your day today? What choices you have? Yes. Breathe out. <laughs>